Prepare yourself for a journey to wisdom, wellness, and wonder through Greek philosophy. Whatever your hopes and dreams may be, you will emerge from this guided meditation much more comfortable and much more confident than before. It will all seem effortless to you. Now prepare yourself. Arrange your clothes. Make sure your other devices are turned off so that we will have no disturbances during this guided meditation. Your hands should be to the side of your body with the palms facing upwards. At the end of this video, please like, comment, share it with your friends, and make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If you'd like to listen to today's session without any advertisement interruptions, head on over to patreon.com. You can go ahead and close your eyes if you feel more comfortable. Now let's begin by taking a deep breath together, inhaling through the nose, holding that breath and spreading it throughout your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. And only when you've spread the oxygen in your body can you then exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale deeply, deeply, deeply. Relaxing your facial muscles. Relaxing your shoulders. Spreading the oxygen to all the cells of your body and exhaling through the mouth with double the time so that really you empty out any stress. Once again, a deep, deep inhalation, relaxing your jaw in particular by dropping your mouth open, spreading the oxygen throughout your whole body relaxing your shoulders and again exhaling double the time so that you feel deeply deeply relaxed observe your abdomen your stomach area as it's rising and falling with every breath you take Observe how it inflates like a balloon every time you're inhaling and how it deflates every time you exhale. Allow yourself to breathe naturally, relaxing and being comfortable with every breath you take. Inhaling and exhaling. Your shoulders are relaxing. Your whole right arm is relaxing. Your whole left arm is relaxing. 
relaxing. The abdomen area is relaxing. Your genital area is relaxing. Your whole left leg is relaxing. Your whole right leg is relaxing. You feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper as you feel your whole body relaxing. Remember that philosophy is all about how to live your life well. Just as a carpenter uses wood and the sculptor uses bronze, you need to use your own life as the raw material in the art of living. Every event in your life represents a blank block of marble that you can train on. And that's how you're learning to use a chisel, a mallet, until you've mastered your craft. Philosophy is all about applying its principles in the real world, putting into practice what we learn. So now, I want you to think about what is the issue that's causing you frustration in your life right now? Simply bring to mind a particular thought or belief that worries, distresses, or angers you regarding your personal or professional life. It can be a large or small thing that's upsetting you. The best way to do this is to visit the scene as if you are watching it on a television screen. Recall the frustrating, angering scene that happened recently. Revisit it and relive that scene to review it and connect with your fear. Think of the exact frustrating, angering, or frightening thought. Try to reduce it into a narrative of two to three sentences. Formulate exactly the irritating thought. If it's a belief that you presently hold about yourself, a person, or a situation. Think of the exact words you're telling yourself that make you so upset. Try not to analyze it. State it simply. It could be something like this. Down deep inside, I'm afraid that I'm not good enough. Now ask yourself, is this thought 100% true? How do you feel when you believe it, it is true? As a philosopher, you need to reflect on your thoughts, especially the accuracy of your thoughts. For example, ask yourself, are you dramatizing? Are you generalizing? Has your ego gotten the best of you? And you've taken offense to things and blaming others. Ask yourself again, is your thought or belief that 
narrative rooted in fear, is it 100% true? If you consider it true, to what degree is it true? Giving a general statement that something is true may be misleading if it's only 50% true, but not always true. We often give truths a larger power than they are due. If we can demystify it for a moment, we loosen the ground on which it stands. Imagine it for a moment. Who could you be if you didn't have that thought? What sort of thoughts would you have instead? Now ask yourself, is it a kind thought? Is your thought or belief kind towards you? Or are you putting yourself down and being too critical? Self-reflection is good, but many times we judge ourselves too harshly. Also, is it kind towards others? Look at it from the perspective of the other people involved. How does that situation look from their perspective? Now ask yourself, is that thought, that narrative based in fear, is it useful to you? Consider your story, your thought or belief, and what's the benefit of allowing it to run around in your mind? Does it help you in any way? Let's take a step back and consider Plato's advice. Whenever you want to talk about people, it's best to take a bird's eye view and see everything all at once. From this elevated perspective, could you let go of this narrative? Could you let go of that dreaded feeling rooted in fear? Could you release it? I'm not asking you to do it right now. Just imagine it to yourself. From up above, looking down on the situation. Could you imagine releasing it? If you like, take three deep breaths now. And feel yourself connecting with the cosmos, the logos, nature, and God. Or whoever you call the source the universal consciousness. In this state of connection, could you now imagine letting go of your old story 
and the emotion of fear that comes with it. Would you consider being free of that story or emotion? Consider how you could rephrase, change, or modify that statement so it is more useful, truthful, and kind. Focus on your new inner narrative. What is the new message you will be telling yourself? What is the new perspective you will be viewing reality in? Now is a good time to repeat your deep affirmation three times, your life mission and purpose. No matter what happens in your life, this will become a reality. And now, on the count of three, you're going to return to full open awareness, returning to your ordinary life. One, take a deep breath, expanding your shoulders, expanding your arms over your head like you do early in the morning, stretching yourself. Two, take another deep breath and move your body stretching from side to side. Three, extend to the tips of your toes and the tips of your fingers, stretching your whole body, feeling revitalized, you're feeling confident, you're feeling powerful and certain of yourself. And as you're returning to full awareness, simply stretch your neck from side to side, relaxing your shoulders and opening your eyes if you've had them closed up until now. 
you look around and you see that the environment hasn't changed. But deep in yourself, you know that you have experienced a deep transformation. The reality may look the same, but you have changed. And that changes everything. That will attract the most positive energy. No matter what happens, you know that you are able to handle things from a place of inner strength and confidence. Thank you for joining me in this guided meditation. I look forward to seeing you next time. Once again, thank you for supporting my work on Patreon.com.